So you've had a knee replacement and you've had your initial post-operative follow-up. The question is, do you need to keep seeing your doctor? Do you have to get checkups in the future? And I'm gonna answer those questions and more in this video. Hello and welcome back, Adam Rosen here. And if you have not already, please subscribe to the channel and click the thumbs up like button so people like you find information like this. So. You have a knee replacement. Pretty typical to have post-operative follow-up. So you'll probably see your doctor maybe two weeks or four weeks. Most doctors will see you back around three months, and a lot of doctors will see you back again at one year. What next? Do you need to keep coming back? Like, do you need to keep having follow-up? Uh, and the question is yes, um, but the question is when, and what do we do, and why is it important? So like anything, implants can wear out. Now. The good news is that most total knee replacements have good longevity. You know, at 20 years, 90% of knee replacements are still successful and doing fine. And if you haven't already watched my video on how long do knee replacements last, I'll put the link in the show notes. Now, the other question is, is do you really need to see the doctor or do you just need an x-ray checkup? And that is a question that I don't have the answer for yet. Now, studies are coming out this one in particular looking at artificial intelligence to scrutinize the x-rays. So the question is, is it possible in the future that you just get x-ray checkups and artificial intelligence would prompt the doctor when it saw something that was concerning? But for the most part, what we usually like to do is see people back about every five years. Now in reality, at five years, patients are doing fine. Most of my patients forget. Um, even though we send out messages, it's kind of the bottom of their to-do list and usually I'll see them at six or eight years. Um, sometimes they come in for other reasons, like now their hip hurts and we haven't seen them in a while for the knee and we'll get knee x-rays. And we're looking to see, does the implant look okay? Because again, the plastic implant or the plastic bearing can wear out. Um, and if the plastic bearing wears out, then patients might have problems, but not always. Sometimes they don't have symptoms. They're what we call asymptomatic. Now, we see them again back at 10 years and 15 years. Now maybe 15 years, 18 years, we start to see wear on the plastic. That's where we might say, hey, you need to come back in a year or two. We're gonna watch you more carefully. Because other things that we're looking for are what's called osteolysis. Sometimes that plastic debris causes a reaction and the bone can start to erode or dissolve. Basically think of it like a cavity in your tooth, but the cavity can occur on the end of your thigh bone or the top of the shin bone. Now this particular patient that I took care of didn't have a lot of close follow-up and when he came in he had a ton of bone loss across both the front and the back of the thigh bone and it was surprising that he didn't break uh, but this was a patient then that needed a revision so we had to go in and take off the implants and put new implants and stems into the bone to anchor it into the remaining bone stock that he had where if this patient had come in earlier and we saw plastic wear and the space between the thigh bone and the shin bone was getting smaller, maybe we started to see a small little cavity, we could have gone in earlier and just taken out the plastic insert and put a new plastic insert in. Now maybe you're wondering, well, will I have symptoms? And again, the question is, or the answer is not always, but usually, if your knee is starting to wear out, the symptoms that a lot of people will describe is an increase in the clicking. Again, clicking can be normal in a knee replacement, but if it's clicking a lot more than it used to, that can be a sign that the plastic bearing is wearing out and there's more looseness or laxity. And that becomes another complaint that people describe is that the knee feels loose or it feels unstable or they might even have it buckle or give way. The other thing that a lot of patients might complain about is swelling and occasionally pain. But a lot of patients come in more with the complaint of swelling and it's because this debris can cause a reaction. Also, if they have instability, it can cause a reaction. Um, and the other thing is deformity. So if you start to wear the plastic more on one side than the other, the knee might look more knock-kneed or more bow-legged. Now, a late thing, and this is what we try to see patients for and get x-rays for to prevent, is what's called loosening. Patients develop what's called startup pain. And what they'll describe is, at rest, they're okay. And when they go to stand up, the first 5, 10, 15 steps hurt a lot. And then after those 5, 10, 15 steps, the pain tends to go away. Once they sit down and rest, they get up again and those initial 5, 10, 15 steps hurt again. And the idea there is that the implant is loose. When you sit at rest, the implant sort of loosens and comes off the bone. And when you walk, you're getting this pistoning and eventually it beds itself back in and then the pain goes away until you sit down and rest again. So 
Is it important that you get follow-up? Yes. We typically recommend about a five-year x-ray checkup or x-ray surveillance. And again, if it's been six or eight years, not too big of a deal, especially in the beginning, especially if you don't have symptoms. But if it's been a long time since you've had a checkup, or if you're starting to notice any symptoms, it's an important thing to check in with your orthopedic surgeon and get an x-ray checkup, get an exam to make sure that everything looks good. I hope that's answered some of your questions. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.